Kia ora YouTubers, my name is Dan and this video here is one of the free ones that I give away as part of my larger course. So if you are keen and you do enjoy it, uh, check out, there'll be a link in the description. Uh, but for now, let's uh, go off and look at the free stuff. So first up, we're gonna look at the components part of Bootstrap, then we'll look at Grid afterwards. So let's look at some of the components that Bootstrap have created for us and we'll compare kind of, I guess, um, just to show how great bootstrap is we're going to show like how to create them using bootstrap and then kind of manually how to create them and the difference in timing and um, control so let's look at that so let's make a really simple thing uh, just a button okay just a clickable button in bootstrap and then we'll make it by ourselves so uh, i'm going to go to file new under bootstrap i'm going to create a new everything click create all right so not a lot happens Okay, I've got my plain old document, but if I go to insert and I go into button, so I'm in insert form and I'm gonna to go to button, I get this, okay? That is a button and it's had some styling applied to it. So I'm gonna save this document now and this is gonna be my bootstrap test. Bootstrap test, we're gonna throw this document away. So um, just a quick little demo. I'm gonna create a completely new file using plain old HTML without bootstrap. Okay, essentially the same thing to start with, except it doesn't have the backing of Bootstrap. I'm gonna save it. This is gonna be called plain old HTML. Okay, so if I add a button here, the difference is the styling really to start off with. Can you see this button here is what you expect to see as a button um, uh, straight out of code. And this button here in Bootstrap is slightly more styled. The font's different, uh, there's a bit of a grading in the background. So, okay, not a big deal, okay, in terms of the styling. Where it becomes quite um, cool is that, um, let's check out, check out Bootstrap. So I'm at the Bootstrap website, and this is really handy to go back and forward from just to see what is available. You're not gonna remember exactly or every single thing Bootstrap can do, but it's good to go in and check and see what it can do every now and again. So if we go to components, uh, there is um, buttons. Okay, where are we? Buttons, buttons, buttons. There's button groups. There's all sorts of things to do with buttons. Okay, these are the components. You can see that there are uh, drop downs, there are input groups, as well as buttons, there are what else we got? There's navigation in here, there's breadcrumbs, uh, how to put in a jumbotron, thumbnails. This is all the pre-made components. We're looking at just the buttons at the moment. Okay, so we've got our button. Now we're gonna look at the top, go all the way back to the top again, and we're gonna look at a CSS that styles these now components. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of pre-made CSS styles as well. So we're gonna go down to buttons, and you can see there is, uh, these are my default buttons and we can do, uh, there are options for the buttons, different colors you can use. Uh, there are different sizes, uh, block level ones. So you can do lots with buttons, okay, without having to do all the styling yourself. So let's give that a test. So, um, I've got my button selected. I'm gonna add a class. Okay, class starts with a full stop, and this will bring up all of, can you see it says BTN, and it'll bring up all the different um, button options from Bootstrap. Now, one of the ones on that last page is button, button slash, sorry, forward slash, uh, button hyphen danger. Okay, and you can see by adding that class called button danger, it's gone red, it's got white text. Okay, so that's the kind of things that Bootstrap can do. It's got some pre-made classes. Now to do the same thing here in our HTML document, I'm going to go to CSS designer, and I guess I'm just trying to prove uh, the validity of Bootstrap, or at least show you it's, um, at least show you why people love it so much. So I'm gonna add a new CSS sheet, which is great. I'm gonna call this one uh, plain old. Okay, I'm gonna make a selector called uh, button Dan. Okay, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna try and style it the same way. So I'm gonna apply that button now, even though it's got no, no actual um, attributes. So I've applied it. Great, it's not doing anything. So I'm gonna make it have a background color of red. Oops, what am I styling? Buttons. Oops, what am I styling? I've applied my class to this body tag, which is the underlying one, not the actual button itself. That's what I meant to click. You can see how easy it is, button or the body. Okay, so I'm going to remove it from the body, click on my button, 
and apply that very same class. I should go through and delete that sort of stuff, but it's the kind of problems you're gonna run into, so I leave them in there. I like to pretend like it's a part of my training just to show you what could happen, but really it's just me getting lost. But we're back. So this button here, okay, has got a class name button Dan linked to it. I've made it red, I've gone to my type here, and I'm gonna make it white. Okay, it needs a bit of padding, so I'm gonna go up to this top one here called layout, and I'm gonna make it have some padding around the outside, so it's gonna have padding of maybe five at the top, 10 on the sides, maybe 15 on the sides, five on the top, 10 there, great. Okay, the font needs to be centered in here. Now, can you start to see the time saving by using Bootstrap? Okay, so I'm nearly there, as in I'm almost getting this thing to um, do the same as this. It's not the same, okay, but it's kind of saved a bit of time. Now, this is one little tiny part, so buttons are really small. You can imagine where it becomes a whole lot more quicker using Bootstrap when you start looking at like an image carousel where there's lots of bits and pieces to it. Start building it yourself could be a two-day project, whereas I'll show you in a second how it's just a drag and drop using Bootstrap. So um, let's have a look at, back to the bootstrap version, there are lots of different CSS classes that you can apply. Can you see here, and um, there's the options, so we picked danger, but there's some other ones. Uh, we can go through and there's sizes. And all you need to know though, is these namings here. You won't remember them off, off by heart, don't worry. But say I wanna apply this button large. All I need to do is um, type this in. See the full stop for making a class, and then btn hyphen large. So if I come in here, and I go full stop, btn hyphen large. It's a large button. Okay. Some of the bits on the other side was there was something called button lock. Uh, so btn, actually dot btn, there's one they call block. And that just makes it go full screen. Okay, so it's a giant button that kind of spreads out to the edges of its container. So then to go off and start building this in plain old HTML, I could definitely do it, no problem at all, but I'm gonna be playing around for a long time to try and get up to speed with uh, Bootstrap. So it's just a time saver. Now let's look at some of the magical bits of these components. So button, pretty boring, Dan. So let's go and uh, delete him. So I'm gonna click on my button, hit delete. What I really want to do is look at some of the really cool things. And we're gonna look at them properly later on, but at the moment, I guess it's just a little fly through where I can say form bootstrap components. And these are the things that are kind of pre-made. If you look at the bootstrap sides, um, right at the top here. Okay, these are the components. So Dreamweaver, there's a bunch of them on the side here. Okay, and Dreamweaver's incorporated a lot of them in itself, okay, to make it easier to apply. Rather than copying and pasting code across, you just have to click some of these things. So let's look at one of the more exciting ones. So let's look at uh, the carousel, okay? And if I want to design my own carousel, A, you wouldn't, but B, even if you found somebody else's carousel to implement in your site, it'll take a lot of working around to try and get going. Then will it work on all browsers? Probably, maybe but I know Bootstrap's pretty good at working on all sorts of different browsers and sizes and devices. Let's click Carousel. Voila, one button and a carousel's been added. I'm gonna preview this in the browser, so I'm gonna save my document. I'm gonna go down Preview in a browser and I've now got a responsive carousel. Can you see? It adjusts, works with different sizes, click the button, it moves across, and all I need to do now as a designer is go through and Okay, there's lots of things I don't like about it. Like I don't need potentially this text or the second text, but I can turn that off quite easily. And the image in the background here with the crazy, uh, the, with the ugly white stripe around the outside, I can go through and adjust that and change it with my own images. It's pretty damn amazing. And that's why people love Bootstrap. It's quick, it's easy, it's a, it installs a pretty plain Jane version of what you need, but it's all done, all the bugs are worked out of it mostly, and you can go through and add your own style to it very quickly and easily. Hey there, remember this video is a free extract from my course of more than 60 videos. So if you're serious about learning Dreamweaver, check out the link down below. If you like this free thing, give it a like, give it a share, I'd be really appreciative. Thanks. Hi, da-da.